The objective within this lesson is to solve and create fraction word problems involving addition, subtraction, and multiplication. A baseball team played 32 games and lost 8. Katie was the catcher in 5 eighths of the winning games and 1 fourth of the losing games. What fraction of the games did the team win? That's the first part of the question. So let's draw a tape diagram for the first question. There's 32 games. And they lost eight. That means this is the one amount that they won. And they're asking what fraction of that. So we have 32 minus 8, which equals 24. And then the amount that we won is 24 out of 32. They won 24 out of 32 of the games, which we can simplify. They won 3 quarters of the games. Here's part B. In how many games did Katie play catcher? So she played, played catcher in 5 eighths of the winning games. So that's for the winning games. Remember, there were 24 winning games. That Katie played play catcher, so it's 5 eighths of 24. And then for the losing games, she played one quarter of eight. Five eighths of 24 is equal to 15. One quarter of eight is equal to two. And adding those together, 15 plus two, you get 17. She played catcher for 17 games. Make sure to write out a nice sentence for that. Let me show you 5 eighths of 24. Cancel the 24, becomes a 3. 8 becomes 1. And 5 times 3 is 15. In Mrs. Elliott's garden, 1 eighth of the flowers are red. 1 quarter of them are purple. And 1 fifth of the remaining flowers are pink. If there are 128 flowers, how many flowers are pink? There's all the flowers, and remember the whole was 128. 1 eighth are red. 1 quarter are purple. And one fifth of the remaining flowers are pink. Are the remaining divided into five parts? Pink. It's not one fifth though. Be careful with that. One quarter of the remaining. So I need to know what the remaining is. So first off, one eighth of one twenty eight for red, and then I'll also figure out one fourth of one twenty eight. I think the easiest way is to use division problem one twenty eight divided by eight. Eight goes into twelve one whole time. One times eight is eight. Eight twelve minus eight is four. Bring down the eight. That's sixteen. 6 times 8 is 48. 48 minus 48 is 0. So 1 eighth is 16. 1 quarter, 128, is 32. It's twice as much as 1 eighth. So I have 16 and 32, which are my red and purple. And I'm going to add those two numbers together because I'm going to take that away from 128. So like I said, I was taking away 48 from one, from 128 to be able to get the rest of those flowers, and then I'll be able to get one-fifth of the amount. 
So I have 80 flowers that are left over here. So I get 80 flowers, and I'm taking one-fifth of 80. Take 80 divided by 5. I think it's also 16. 1 times 5 is 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Bring down the 0. 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So 1 -fifth of 80 is 16. How many flowers are pink? 16 flowers are pink. Lillian and Darlene plan to get their homework finished within one hour. Darlene completes her hom math homework in three-fifths of an hour. Lillian completes her math homework with five-sixths of an hour remaining. Who completes her homework faster and by how many minutes? So we have Darlene, who finished her homework in three-fifths of an hour. Three-fifths of an hour is three-fifths of sixty. Which equals 36 minutes. Lillian completed her homework with five sixths of an hour remaining. Which means that she finished her homework in one sixth of an hour. One six of sixty is equal to ten. Who finished her homework faster? Lillian finished her homework faster. How many by how much? Thirty six minus ten equals twenty six minutes. For the bonus question, 26 minutes as a fraction of an hour, that would be 26 of 60th, divided by 2, divided by 2, equals 13 30th of an hour faster.